Hi, on this session, we are going to have a quick look at how to calculate the futures price of commodities, which are investment assets, including storage cost. Now, the futures price can be calculated using this formula here, which is basically the spot price of the asset plus the present value of the storage cost. For example, if you're, let's assume that you're looking at the futures price of silver. Now, silver has to be stored and that cost has to be factored in. So, U represents the present value of the storage cost and then you multiply the whole thing by the exponent of the risk-free interest rate times the time to maturity. Now, R represents the lease rate and sometimes in some questions you will not be given the lease rate but you will be given the risk-free interest rate and in that case you can also use the, the risk-free interest rate. So the intuition behind this is if you think about it, when you store a particular asset, in this case let's, uh, an investment asset, that will become a cost and that cost has to be factored in. So for example, if I have, let's assume that if I have silver, and if I need to store that silver, the, the spot price of that silver will be more than if I don't have to store it. So that's the reason I'm adding this to the spot price and that has to be factored in because whoever holds the silver now has to incur this cost. And because of that, the futures price, when we calculate the futures price of an investment asset that has to be stored, then we need to add that storage cost, the present value of that storage cost, to the spot price because that has to be factored in. Now, if I don't include this as part of the futures price, I might charge less. In other words, my futures price will be understated. And that's the reason you need to factor this in. In other words, you need to add this, add the present value of the storage cost to your spot price when you're calculating the futures price of that particular asset. So let's go through a very simple example to understand the concept. So let's say here that we are looking at a one-year investment asset on a futures contract that pays no income and has a spot price of $850. The one-year risk-free interest rate is 6%. Let's assume the to store one unit of the asset, it costs $5, and it's payable end of the year. Calculate the futures price. So here we are going to calculate the one-year futures price. And notice that we have been told that the storage cost is payable end of the year. We have been told here, assume to store one unit of the asset, it costs $5 and it's payable end of the year. So the first step would be, so you can see the futures price equals spot price plus the present value of the storage cost. And then you multiply the whole thing by the exponent of the risk-free interest rate times time to maturity. So first, we need to calculate the present value of the storage cost. So that's what we have done here. So the present value of the storage cost, we know that to store one unit, it will cost us $5 and it's payable end of the year. Since it's payable end of the year, we need to discount it to today. So $5, that's the storage cost for one unit. And it's payable end of the year, so we need to discount it to today. So that's exponent of minus the risk-free interest rate, which is 6%, we've been given here. So we're assuming it's with continuous compounding, times one, because it's payable in one year, we need to discount it to today. And that gives us $4.70. So once we calculate the present value of the storage cost, which is this value here, we can plug the numbers to this formula to calculate the one-year futures price. 
So that's what we are doing here. Step two, calculate the futures price. The spot price is $850, which we have been given here. And then the present value of the storage cost is $4.70. So we add those two together and then we multiply the whole thing by the exponent of the risk-free interest rate, which is 6% multiplied by 1 because we are trying to calculate the one-year futures price, which gives us $907.56. So you can see here the intuition behind adding the storage cost to your spot price in order to calculate the futures price is that if you are storing the investment asset and if you do not include this, you'll be understating your futures price. In other words, your futures price will be less than $907 and that's that won't be a fair price because you had to store this asset for a year and you need to factor that in as part of your spot price when you're calculating your futures price. Now remember if your one year futures price is less than $907.56 or if it's more than $907.56 then there are arbitrage opportunities and that's something to note as well. So remember whenever we, are, we talk about an investment asset and there's a storage cost is involved as a amount then we can use this formula. Now there are other times the storage cost might be given as a percentage of the spot price. Now if it is given as a percentage of the spot price then you could use a slightly different formula in order to calculate the futures price. Basically it will be the futures price will be S0 multiplied by the exponent of the risk-free interest rate plus the storage cost as a yield and then you multiply the whole thing by time to maturity. So it will be slightly different if the storage cost is given as a yield compared to the spot price of the asset. So that's something to remember as well.